thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss fifth question in a ship of length 28 meter so length is what is that let's take this is shape 28 meters then height of its mast actually what is mast is one iron pillar will be there in the ship so for supporting and making some wind th like that so this is called mast the one that is called mast the pillar which is will be height then that one will be 12 meters the mast height is 12 meter if the height of its mast in its model is 9 centimeter so model will be 9 centimeter then what is the length of the model ship so what is the length of the model ship we have to take so let's take length of the shape length of the shape and length of mast length of mast so let's take length of the ship will be x and length of the mast will be y so what is that for that real ship they are given what is that is 28 meters length of the ship will be 28 meters then length of the mast is 12 meters for that what we have to find is length of the ship we have to find so that is x2 we need to find what is y2 will be so here length of the mast will be the model 9 centimeters so we have to find this value this is value we need to find so let's take our 28 meters we have to convert it into centimeters 1 meter will be equal to 100 centimeter that is 28 into 100 that will be equal to 2800 centimeter then 12 meters we can convert into 12 into 100 that is 1200 centimeters so now we can substitute the values in the formula what is the formula here is so length of the shift is increasing then mass also increasing so this two are these two are in direct proportion x is directly proportional to y so if it is a big ship mass height will be big then if it is a small ship a mass height will be small so for that remove this x is equals to ky then x by y will be equal to k k is a constant that is x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 will be equal to x3 by y3 will be equal to k so k will not change any time so let's take write the formula here what we need to here x1 this is y1 so x1 by y1 equal to x2 by y2 we have to find the x2 value so we have to find the x2 value that is x1 y2 by y1 will be equal to x2 so let's substitute the values here so what is x1 is so this is x1 this is y1 so what is x1 will be 2800 into y2 will be what 9 by y1 is what 1200 that will be equal to x2 so two zeros two zeros will go into cancel so what you can make here is 3 3 za, 3 4 za, 4 1 za, 4 7 za. So what we will get here is 21 centimeter. X2 will be equal to 21 centimeter. So model ship length will be 21 centimeter. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers. Thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss sixth question. A vertical pole of 5.6 meters height 5.6 meters of height cast shadow 3.2 meter long at the same time find the length of the shadow cast by pole 10.5 meters height the height of pole which cast shadow 5 meter long so here let's take we are taking poles like this so what is this pole height is let's take this is first one what is the height of pole so height of pole will be what is that 5.6 meters 5.6 meters height of pole will be 5.6 meters then what is the shadow length that is shadow height will be this is shadow 3.2 meter long like that at the same time find the length of the shadow cast by another pole so this is pole this height will be 10.5 meters then what is this length we have to find then the given height of the pole find the height of the pole 
then cast by shadow length will be 5 meters so this one will be 5 meters so let's take vertical pole height of the pole height of the pole will be let's take x then length of the shadow length of the shadow will be y so length of the shadow will be y so first one let's take this is x1 this is x2 this is x3 y1 y2 y3 so actually what they are given is here in the first one they given that first one height of the pole will be 5.6 meters then length of the shadow will be 3.2 so if height that is x will be increases height of the pole will be increases then length of the shadow will also increases that is x is directly proportional to y x is equals to k y then x is equals x by y will be equal to k that is k is a constant so that means x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 will be equal to x3 by y3 and so on it will get constant k so let's take x2 so what is here x2 is they are given height of the fold we took as x2 right so they are given that 10.5 meters then what is this again in third one they are given shadow shadow length that is 5 meters then what is this so we have to find y2 and x3 so what is the formula here is let's take x1 by y1 will be equal to x2 by y2 we have to find y2 so y2 will be equal to x2 y1 by x1 so y2 is what here so what is the y2 value so at y2 we have to find what is the value of x2 so x2 will be 5 point sorry 10 point 5 into y1 will be what 3.2 by 5.6 so what is that 10.5 into 3.2 so 10.5 into 3.2 what you'll get here is 36 33.6 by 5.6 so 33.6 by 5.6 is nothing but 6 so you will get 6 meters so 6 meters is the answer so here 6 meters we will get so what is the height of length of shadow is 6 meters so that is the 6 meters next one so go with x1 by y1 will be equal to x3 by y3 so actually here we need to find the height of the fold that is x3 we have to find so x3 will be equal to what you can take x1 y3 by y1 so we are shifting this to the left side so it will go into multiply it. that will be equal to x3 x3 we have to find height of the fold this one so what is that value is x1 is what 5.6 into y3 is what 5 meters whole divided by y1 is 3.2 so 5.6 into 5 so what is that mean is 5.6 into 5 will get 28 by 3.2 so 28 by 3.2 is 28 by 3.2 will get 8.75 meters 8.75 meters so what is this 8.75 meters pole will get 5 meter so 8.75 meters so like that we need to find the height of the fold and that is the relation if fold is increasing then length of the shoulder will be also increased thanks for watching please subscribe